Good afternoon, everybody. Did you know that 35% or more of households have difficulty handling a $400 emergency? And that diverse communities are even greater than that? That 77% of survey respondents are anxious about their finances? And regulators are looking to financial institutions to serve and meet the needs of diverse communities. So what to do? My name is Steve Byerly, and I'm the CTO of Lokiata. And Lokiata's mission is to help lenders make affordable credit available to more people. We've honed this process over millions of loans and have made it available now in our new product, Bank Analyze. It's an easy-to-use automated bank statement analysis tool that uses real-time connections through open banking APIs. Bank Analyze provides a, a window into your borrower's finances and provides insights that are not available through, tradi through traditional credit reporting agencies. It provides clarity for thin file and no file borrowers and non-prime borrowers as well. It'll help you improve your customer experience through lower interest rates, lower down payments, higher loan amounts, and higher approval rates. So grow your business while helping your members. Using alternative data has been shown to increase credit availability for women and minorities. Using cash flow for um, underwriting is not new, but we're going to show you how you can turn hours into minutes and KPIs into scores and insights. So let's take a look. So this is the loan officer view of Bank Analyze. And what we have here um, in this section, the overview section, is the decision. The decision is approved. And the decision was made by analyzing um, three months to two years' worth of bank statements using our machine learning model. And it, was, it produced a score of 65. In addition to that, we um, generate these checks. They're green or they're red. If they're green, that means that we were able to find um, corroborating information in the transactions to match the borrower name. So you have identity checks to match their income that's stated on the loan application for income verification, to match the employer that's provided on the um, loan application, and that's matched to direct deposits, and then also to match the account number. As we scroll down, we see these cards that are placed to help the loan officer know what to look at in the bank statements if they're doing a manual review. So this first card shows rule points that were hit in the, in the um, weighted scorecard that we'll look at in a minute. And then the Lokiata score was 65, which was greater than or equal to the score approved threshold, which we'll also look at. These other two cards are the result of rule hits. These rule hits, um, this was average monthly loan payments greater than $1,000. So this gives the loan officer something they might want to check into. And then this one, average monthly cash flow of negative $892, is less than zero, so definitely something they might want to look into. Over on the right, we have summaries and aggregations that are organized by, um, by pay period. So it's a biweekly pay period. All of these are biweekly. You can see you know, common measures, debits, credits, cash flow, et cetera. And you can click on any of them to see the transactions that make up that particular category. So let's see what a borrower experience looks like. Sharing bank statements is very easy for the borrower to do and very secure. So what we're going to do is just quickly fill out a loan application. This loan application really could come from a, a form on a web page or um, oops, a form on a web page or uh, from the loan uh, origination system through an API. An SMS and an email message are sent to the borrower with something that's branded with your institution. And when they click the link, they land on a page with some instructions, and it allows them to choose the institution for the account that they want to link to evaluate their bank statements. So we'll pick the Lokiata CU. And I'll log in here. And in a few seconds, my credentials will be verified, and my bank statements will be sent to the lender to be analyzed by the Bank Analyze um, machine learning model. So if we refresh this, then you can see the completed bank statement is there. 
ready for evaluation. But let's see what happens under the hood. So when we look under the hood here, we're going to see how the lender can um, configure Bank Analyze. So first, we have these rules. And this weighted scorecard is, I have all the rules set to zero, but they could be set anywhere from zero to 10. And the purpose is to allow you to um, create a score that when the threshold is met, you can deny the borrower based on that threshold. But really what we're trying to do is we're trying to get lift for borrowers in a situation where there's already an underwriting program in place. So by setting these all to zero, it just creates a card on the UI so that the loan officer has something to look at and something to investigate. So um, what it's going to do then is use the score. You have the, a deny threshold set at 40, the approved threshold set at 65. And for our borrower, their score was 65, so they were approved. So really, these are just a few features of Bank Analyze that show what is possible. It's a powerful tool that you can use to enhance your existing underwriting technology platforms and gain insight and give lift to your borrowers. It'll improve your customer experience and allow you to grow your FI while lowering your risk with Bank Analyze. Thank you very much.